has been the privilege of my life to serve as leader of the Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party these past nearly eight years. This has been a remarkable time in politics, and I will always be thankful for the opportunity to have a front seat as Scottish political history was being made. I am so proud of the teams that we have built as a party at Holyrood, at Westminster, and in council chambers across the country. Proud, too, of the work that we've done to reach out to all communities in Scotland, north and south, rural or urban, and after some fallow decades, to prove ourselves a truly national party once again. But for me, electoral successes, while undoubtedly important, pale in significance compared to the vital role that our party undertook as part of the campaign to keep Scotland in the United Kingdom at the independence referendum. It was, without doubt, the most important contribution of my working life, and I believe will remain so. It is therefore with a heavy heart that this morning I wrote to the Chairman of, of the Scottish Conservative Party to tender my resignation. I explained the changes, both professional and personal, that have prompted this decision. You all know, and I have never sought to hide, the conflict that I have felt over Brexit. Despite that conflict, I have attempted to chart a course for our party which recognises and respects the referendum result while seeking to maximise opportunities and mitigate risks for key Scottish businesses and sectors. I hope and believe that industries as diverse as our fishing fleets and our whisky producers have felt well represented by the Scottish Conservatives during this time. The biggest change, however, has been starting a family. And I cannot thank my colleagues, and especially Jackson Carlaw, enough for their generosity and support to both Jen and myself following the birth of baby Finn. It made my return to work in April as smooth as I believe was possible, while the flexibility shown by colleagues since then has allowed me these last few months to continue operating successfully in my role as leader. However, as I look to the future, I see the Scottish election due in 2021 and a credible threat from our opponents to force a general election before then. Having led our party through seven national elections and two referenda, I know the efforts, the hours and the travel required to fight such campaigns successfully. And I have to be honest that where the idea of getting on the roads to fight two elections in 20 months with once have fired me up, the threat of spending hundreds of hours away from my home and family now fills me with dread. And that is no way to lead. Additionally, I fear that having tried to be a good leader over the years, I have proved a poor daughter, sister, partner and friend. The party and my work has always come first, often at the expense of commitments to loved ones. The arrival of my son means I now make a different choice. I need to thank the amazing people that work in Scottish Conservative Central Office and my own parliamentary team. They really do spin straw into gold. My intention is to continue in my role as the MSP for Edinburgh Central until 2021. I will always, always be thankful for the opportunity to serve and to the amazing teams that I've worked alongside. And of course, I will continue to support the party, the Prime Minister and Scotland's place in our United Kingdom from the back benches and beyond. In terms of final thoughts, I believe that two referenda have split Scotland and indeed opinion in the UK. And I'm convinced the referenda should be used to affirm public opinion, but not as a way for political leaders to fail to lead. Looking at the division in our politics, I make this plea. The vast majority of people who go into politics do so for the right reasons, to improve their communities and their countries. And I believe we should always remember that. Respect is what is missing from our debates. And without respect, you cannot have understanding and you cannot unite, which is what we in Scotland and in the UK need to do. Thank you very much.